Hello, welcome to another module in this online course, Strategy and Introduction to Game Theory. And uh, in the last module, we started looking at games with mixed strategies and we looked at, at the game of matching pennies and derived the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. Let us continue to look at games with mixed strategies and let us try to look at some other examples of games with mixed strategies and mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. And let us go back to one of the games that we have already looked at in the context of pure strategies, that is the battle of sexes game. So let us go back to look at our battle of sexes game, sexes game. But this time in the context of mixed strategy, let us try to look at the battle of sexes game in the context of a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. right? And just to remind you, as you already know, the battle of success game is it's an interesting game between a couple, between a boy and a girl, where they have an option of either choosing to watch a game of cricket C or watching a movie that is our Harry Potter movie H to spend the evening together. So both of them can either choose C, both of them either choose H, in which case they spend time together, but each of them chooses a different thing, then they end up spending time apart, in which case their utility or their payoff is zero. And we also drew the game table for this game. The game table for this can be represented as, well, there are two players and each player has two possible actions. So we have the boy who is the row player, the girl who is the column player, each can choose either cricket or Harry Potter cricket or Harry Potter movie. If both of them choose different things, that is boy chooses cricket and girl chooses to watch the Harry Potter movie, they both get 0, 0. Similarly, if boy chooses to watch the Harry Potter movie and girl chooses to watch cricket, they get 0, 0. On the other hand, if the boy chooses, boy and girl both choose to watch a game of cricket, then the boy gets 10, the girl gets 5. On the other hand, if boy and girl both choose to watch the Harry Potter movie, then the boy gets 5 and the girl gets a payoff of 10. Right? And we have already looked at the pure strategy Nash equilibrium of this game. Again, let us do it once again really quick so as to refresh your memory regarding that. If the girl chooses C, the best response of the boy is to choose C. If the girl chooses H, best response of the boy is to choose H. If the boy chooses C, best response of girl is to choose C. If boy chooses H, best response of the girl is to choose H. Therefore, we have two Nash equilibria in pure strategies, that is both CC and H comma H are the Nash equilibria of this game and as you remember, both are Pareto optimal, right? And at that point, we also said since each prefers a different Nash equilibrium because the boy prefers the CC Nash equilibrium the girl prefers the HH Nash equilibrium, right? So hidden in this game, there is a third Nash equilibrium, which is a compromise Nash equilibrium, where a certain fraction of the time, the boy is choosing C and boy is choosing H other times, and the girl is choosing C certain fraction of the time, and the rest of the time she is choosing H, and both of them are making these choices randomly. That is, there is another mixed strategy Nash equilibrium in this game, and now let us try to find the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. Let me try let me redraw the game table clearly once again so as to illustrate the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium for this game. So we have a boy, girl, they can either choose cricket or Harry Potter and their payoffs are 10, 5, 5, 10, 0, 0, 0, 0. Let us now assume that the boy and the girl are both employing mixed strategies, right? Let us assume now that the boy is employing the mixture strategy P, 1 minus P. That is to say, the boy is playing C with probability P and is playing H with 
probability 1 minus p that is fraction p of the time he is choosing c fraction 1 minus p of the time he is choosing h. So, we start with the assumption similar to the matching pennies game that the boy is employing a mixed strategy S p that is choosing c with probability p and choosing h with probability 1 minus p right. So, fraction p of the time he is choosing c, fraction h of the time he is choosing 1 minus uh, fraction p of the time he is choosing c that is to watch a game of cricket and fraction 1 minus p of the time he is choosing h that is to watch the Harry Potter movie. Now, let us look at the payoffs to the girl right. Now, if the girl chooses to watch always watch a game of cricket then her payoff is well fraction p of the time she encounters the boy watching cricket in which case her payoff is 5. So, the average payoff corresponding to this is 5 times p and fraction 1 minus p of the time she encounters the boy watching the Harry Potter movie in which case her payoff is 0. So, her average payoff is 1 minus p times 0. So, if the girl chooses to watch a game of cricket, so utility of the girl to watching the game of cricket you can see this it is 5 times p plus 0 times 1 minus p this is 5 times p plus 0 times 1 minus p equals 5 times p. Similarly, if the girl chooses to watch the Harry Potter movie always then with probability p she encounters the boy watching cricket in which case her payoff is 0. So, the average payoff is p times 0 and fraction 1 minus p times she encounters the boy watching the Harry Potter movie in which case her payoff is 10. So, it is 1 minus p times 10. So, the net average payoff if she is watching if the girl chooses to watch the Harry Potter movie her net average payoff is p times 0 plus 1 minus p times 10 that is 0 times p plus 10 times 1 minus p equals 10 times 1 minus p. And therefore, what we have is that the payoff to the girl to watching cricket is 5 times p and the payoff to the girl to watching the Harry Potter movie is 10 times 1 minus p. And therefore, if 5 p is greater than 10 times 1 minus p, the girl will always choose to watch cricket there is no need for the girl to randomly choose between cricket and Harry Potter if cricket always yields a higher payoff. Similarly, if watching the Harry Potter movie always yields a higher payoff that is 10 times 1 minus p is greater than 5 times p, she will always prefer watching the Harry Potter movie right. Therefore, she will randomly choose between watching either cricket or the Harry Potter movie only when 5 times p equals 10 times 1 minus p. Therefore, therefore, girl will randomly choose between c comma h only when payoff is equal and that means we must have 5 p equals 10 times 1 minus p. Therefore, we have 5 p equals 10 times 1 minus p implies 15 p equals 10 implies p equals 2 by 3 and therefore, 1 minus p equals 1 by 3. 
which means the mixture of the boy that is p equals 2 by 3 1 minus p equals 1 by 3 is the mixture probability mixture of the boy. Therefore, right which means he is choosing that is boy is watching c with probability 2 by 3 and h with probability 1 by 3 that is randomly 2 by third of the time that is fraction 2 third of the time he is choosing to watch the game of cricket and fraction 1 third of the time he is compromising to watch the Harry Potter movie and this is the compromise strategy that is he is not choosing one strategy always, but he is randomly choosing one or the other strategy that is 2 third of the time with probability 2 by 3 he is choosing cricket and with probability 1 by 3 he is choosing to watch the Harry Potter movie and that is what we mean by a compromise strategy or this is also a mixed strategy where he is randomly choosing one or the other strategy. Now, similarly we also said that the girl is employing a mixed strategy. So, let us now try to find the mixture of the girl and similar to the matched penis game let us assume that the girl is mixing with probabilities q and 1 minus q. Let the mixed strategy of girl that is q comma 1 minus q right that is girl is randomly choosing to watch cricket fraction q of the time and watch the harry potter movie fraction 1 minus q of time girl is randomly choosing to watch c fraction q of time and watch h fraction 1 minus q of time right. So, girl is using a mixed strategy q comma 1 minus q which means randomly fraction q of the time she is choosing to watch the game of cricket and fraction 1 minus q of time she is choosing to watch the Harry Potter movie. And now let us look at the payoff of the boys. Again by now you should be very familiar with this technique. So, I will go a slightly faster. If the boy always chooses to watch the cricket, then with fraction q he encounters the girl watching cricket in which he gets 10 with fraction 1 minus q he gets 0 because he encounters the girl watching the Harry Potter movie. So, his payoff. So, payoff of the boy, payoff of the boy to always watching cricket is can be obtained as 10 times q plus well 0 times 1 minus q equals 10 times q. Similarly, if the boy is choosing to always watch the Harry Potter movie with fraction q he encounters the girl watching cricket in which case he gets 0. So, it is 0 times q and with fraction 1 minus q he encounters the girl watching Harry Potter movie in which case he gets 5. So, it is 5 times 1 minus q. Therefore, his average payoff to always watching the Harry Potter movie equals 0 times q plus 5 times 1 minus q which is equal to 5 times 1 minus q and again he will randomly choose between c and h only when the payoffs are equal. Boy will randomly choose
only when u b of c equals u b of h, which means 10 q equals 5 times 1 minus q. So, we have the condition 10 q equals 5 times 1 minus q, which imply, implies that 15 q is equal to 5, which implies that q is equal to 1 by 3 and 1 minus q is equal to 2 by 3. Therefore, we have obtained the mixture of the girl. The mixture of the girl is q equal to 1 by 3, 1 minus q equal to 2 by 3. Mixture of girl by 3 that is randomly choosing C probability one third of time and choosing H randomly fraction two third of time. Therefore, we are saying that the mixture of the girl is to randomly choose to watch cricket one third of the time and choose to watch the Harry Potter movie two third of the time. And therefore, we have desired derived the mixed strategies of both the players at Nash equilibrium. Therefore, mixed strategy Nash equilibrium of BOS or the battle of sexes game is well the mixed strategy in Nash equilibrium. Remember we derived the mixture of the boy, mixture of the boy is well it is 2 by 3 comma 1 by 3 and mixture of the girl is 1 by 3 comma 2 by 3. So, we have mixture 2 by 3 comma 1 by 3 mixed strategy one by three comma two by three is the mixed strategy of the girl. So this is the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. Right. In this mixed strategy Nash equilibrium the boy is using the mixture 2 by 3 comma 1 by 3 that is randomly fraction two third of the time he is watching cricket and one third of the time he is choosing to watch the Harry Potter movie. And on the other hand the girl is randomly choosing to watch the game of cricket one third of the time and watch the Harry Potter movie two thirds of the time. And therefore, both of them are using randomized or mixed strategies and this is the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium of the battle of success game. So, this is the mixed strategy let me just mix strategy Nash equilibrium of this is the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium of the battle of success game. All right. So, let us stop this module here and let us continue with this in the next module. Thank you.